How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Tripol sent me this battery powered camping fan and I'm scratching my head on the use cases of this thing. I suppose if you're in a tent and the sun shines in and it gets really hot, this would be very useful. Let me turn it on over here. It doesn't oscillate or anything. So you gotta point it towards yourself and you can turn on the light one and then the second brightness level and then turns off. I'm gonna turn it on. So it's 83% battery power. Turn it all the way for maximum fan. Now when you turn it on minimum, and then when you turn it up maximum, you can tilt it all the way this way and it stops or tilt it all the way up and it stops. There's this little mark here saying push to the left. Just grab onto it, push to the left and it unlocks. And you can pull out this front grate so you can clean it. Along the edge of this thing, there's this little funny pattern and a straight pattern. The funny pattern align to this little mark over here and it'll drop right in and you turn it back to lock it in place. The bottom has a hook that you can open up and then you can use this to hang within your tent. Let's open this up to see what's inside. Whoa, look at that. There's a huge battery in here. There's a potentiometer and an on off switch combined in one to go into the circuit board. So some circuitry to run a DC fan and also the LED. So these four wires go up into the fan and the LED. They are truthful in how much capacity this thing has. 20,000 milliamp, 3.7 volts. You might go, is it really 20 amp hour? Well, this looks big enough to me. Putting it back. I've adjusted the camera settings so that the brightness looks roughly equivalent to real life with no other lights in the area. This is the first LED setting and I'll put it to the second one. It's not the brightest of flashlights, but it will illuminate enough for you to see. This will run between eight and 100 hours, depending on the settings on the fan. I think this is one of those products that it's kind of purpose built for camping. I can see how maybe if it gets really hot at home, you can have a fan anywhere without having to plug it in. It's more for places where you can't plug it in and you need to have a battery inside. Overall, I like the plastic quality. It doesn't have a lot of fraying along the edges. You use the USB-A for output and the USB-C for input charge charging. With their included USB cable, curiously, it only charges about 5 watts. If I use this other cable, I can charge a little bit faster at 9 or 10 watts or so. Using the fan as a battery bank, I'm going to charge a different battery bank with it. And using their cable, it's only doing 4 watts. Let me plug in a different cable, 6 watts. So just be aware that if you use their cable, it might not charge the fastest. So what's the difference between this one and this one? The supplied cable has VCC and ground cables. It also has a USB-C indicator, but this other cable has VCC ground D plus and D minus, and it has the same indicator for USB-C. If you guys are interested in this product, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.